Hello, welcome back to my channel. Hold on, I'm just gonna. Oh, that was my tooth. I'm like the yeet baby. Have you seen her videos? She's so adorable. Okay, so today, tonight, right now, this video, I am going to be talking about Bell Collective, the reunion. I know I am like a month behind, but I wanted to finish the season, although I'm not sure I'll be able to find the footage for episode 7 and 8, but I just filmed 9, now I'm filming the reunion, those will be out. Progress. Okay, um, what am I going to say? Other recaps will be in the eye, will be down below on my channel in general, be sure to check them out. Yes, that's it. Thanks for watching my intro. Keep watching on my for my thoughts on the reunion. Y'all, it's it's midnight. I'm just tired. Okay, thank you for watching. Keep watching. I mean, keep watching. Okay. And reunion episode one. Um, what are my thoughts? I watched them back to back because. You know, I'm way behind, so obviously I can watch them back to back. Um, it wasn't that bad. You know what I will say? The fashion was hit or miss. I will comment on that. The fashion was hit or miss. Um, and Egypt did a great job. Um, I felt like she was able to, like, articulate the points that needed to be articulated. And... I'm going to talk about one point what she did, but I think she did a great job. She asked the questions. She brought viewer comments in, viewer questions in. Um, yeah, she did an awesome job, I think. Oh, that's the other show that I'm thinking of. Um, what's, it, it was, it was, ugh, I can't think of, I can see the show Ready to Wed. Is that what the show is called? where like couples come in and they kind of go through different phases and they find out if they're ready to get married. I think it's called Ready to Wed. I might be wrong, but she also did the reunion special for that show. So I think she did, she did a great job. Anyway, let me talk about the episode. I'm like three minutes in. I haven't even discussed the episode. Episode one. Um... So first of all, Antoinette is actually from Michi Michigan. She's not from Mississippi. Uh, I don't know why that was like such a surprise, but she's from Michigan. Anyway, her business is open um, and people really were confused, I guess is the best way to put it, about her whole ex-husband situation um because it seems like they were fine it seemed like there wasn't anything horrible going on with the ex-husband um it was just the whole kids thing she didn't want to raise biracial kids maybe there was more going on that she didn't allude to but everyone was kind of like are you telling me the only reason that you divorced him was because you were going to have biracial kids and even one of the viewer comments were like you knew he was white before you married him so obviously you would have biracial children and I feel like she tried to explain her point of view I just don't think it came across because I was still confused about it um just as I think everyone else was so yeah Yep. Um, her and Ganabu, aka David, are not together, but Antoinette said she's ready to date. She said that David was like a good trial run of like getting her feet wet in the dating game. That's how she felt about David. So they're not together though, so she's single. Okay. Um, so, like, right off the bat, um, Letitia accused Latrice of 
using the blogs to spread rumors. Um, because everyone was kind of saying they've gotten positive feedback here and there, you know, about the show. And then Letitia brought up something about someone saying something to the blogs. It's like a particular blogger that's saying all this stuff. And um, Latrice is saying that she heard things and she brought it to Letitia's attention. She's like, it's one of those, hey, I heard someone whispering about something about you and I want you to know that it's coming out situation, kind of like giving her a heads up. Um, and then Letitia said that Latrice called her on a three-way to prove that she wasn't the one whispering to the bloggers. I don't know. It made sense, but then it didn't. Um, so here's where it sort of made sense. It was like, anyway. So. Latrice and Marie were talking about the hair situation. If you remember the hair debacle, I think they called it Bundlegate, where Marie brought it up at the the brunch that this hair is horrible and Letitia Latrice is like that's not my hair whatever um yeah Latrice actually believed and I think I had said this when I recapped that the gentleman who Marie took the hair to had replaced it and even Marie said that she thought the guy had replaced it. So my whole question is, if you believed that he had replaced it, why wouldn't you go to him? She tried to say that she brought up the whole bundle situation because Antoinette and Latrice were talking about her outfit and her hair, so she thought that was the appropriate time. If you remember, Latrice has always been like, you should have brought it to my attention, like gone back to the store, called our customer service, whatever. Um, yeah. I don't know. They were just going back and forth. Anyway, back to the whole vlog situation. Um, no. No. That's not what I wanted to say. Okay, so... Egypt really praised Tambra for bringing attention to her whole fibroid situation. And it's actually 80% of women have fibroids by the time they're 50, 80%. Um, and so Tambra kind of further explained that um, she froze her eggs because of her fibroids, because she had recurring fibroids. and. Her doctor told her it would be easier, you know, to have a pregnancy if you didn't have fibroids, so you decided to freeze her eggs. Um, to which she revealed that she actually has embryos. She reveals that her and her boyfriend, you know, their egg and his sperm did a little thing in the lab and now she has frozen embryos. So basically it seems like all she has to do is when she's ready, is transfer embryos and she could get pregnant and have a baby um, she also mentioned that she's kind of working on um, getting her TV personality side of things she's already nailed radio she wants to do like entertainment TV host that is her next step so she said she's kind of looking into that and trying to further that part okay so we went back to the bundle gate to which, and I kind of um, commend her here, Latrice and Marie were just going back and forth, back and forth. I mean, somebody talked, somebody talked over them, then over them, then over them, then over them. So, Egypt got up and left. She, she really walked out. And I was surprised, but I'm like, good on her. She really tried to get them to settle down cut the crap but they kept going so she got up and left even the executive producer will i think his name is will um he came in no will is not his name michael no 
know if that doesn't even sound right. If I remember find his name, I'll leave it here. Anyway, the executive producer, Carlos, that sounds right. I'll leave his name here, but he came in and was like, y'all need to stop. He said, y'all are being disrespectful, cut it out right now. So they actually stopped when he came out, but I was surprised that some, like the EP had to step in for y'all to stop, but at least they stopped, I guess. Um, yeah. So one thing I noticed is during the whole bundle gate thing, when they were talking about it, Marie kept calling Antoinette an entourage. I don't know why anyway that was a little rude I mean yeah okay so they bring Kaylon out or Kaylin Kaylon out and she reveals that she is the one that has been talking slash communicating with the blogs and to say that I think I was shocked for sure but I'm sure other people were also shocked if you were watching it because it seemed a little suspect like you're accusing Latrice of doing it but two degrees to the left is Kaylon and she's doing it so you're telling me there's no overflow no interference here I don't know. That's where they ended episode one of the reunion. So, episode one, done. Okay, episode two. So, Kaylon was trying to, like, explain it. Let me, let me attempt to break it down here. So, Kaylon said that she went to the blogs because she wanted ammunition, ammunition, ammunition on Marie in case Marie ever came after her. She called it, she wanted defense on Marie. That's why she went to the blogs. Uh, Latrice and Antoinette tried to say they warned her not to go to the blogs, um, Letitia even said that Latrice called her and said, hey, it's not me, but Kaylon is going to sit down with the blogs. Apparently the blogger has like a two hour video of him and Kaylon talking. I don't know. Anyway, Latrice is trying to say it's not me. Antoinette's trying to say it's not me. Kaylon's like, it's me, but only to this degree. It's a whole mess. It's basically a he said, she said, I'm not in it, but I am in it. My hands in the cookie jar but i'm not taking the cookie yet i don't know it's a whole mess anyway so the things that were revealed by the blogger one of them being that glenn allegedly had a baby when he had an affair i don't Maybe I missed it, but I don't know if Letitia definitely confirmed it. It was like addressed, but kind of not. I don't know. Leave it down below what exactly she confirmed or denied with that situation. Because um, we know he had an affair. I'm just not sure about the baby part if that was like 100% true. Like I said, allegedly. The second thing Kaylon said that she actually found out from the blogger, I guess, is that allegedly, allegedly, Marie was stealing federal money. Like, that was the big thing. I think Kalon said that that was kind of put out in the blogosphere by that blogger, but she wanted to have that information for herself. Marie vehemently, 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 I don't know how to say it. She definitely <laughs> denied it. She said that's not true. She was like, how stupid am I that if I am involved in illegal activity, 
that I get on a national television show and basically they're all to the world. We're looking at you from Bravo, allegedly. Um, but yeah, which makes sense. Like if you know you're involved in illegal activity, why would you get on a television show so everything can be scrutinized and so people can start pointing fingers at you? Now, she said that the blogger is doing damage to her business, damage to her workers, damage to her workers' families and stuff like that. Like, that's a huge accusation to claim that someone is stealing federal money, especially in the business that she's in. She's in mental health in a very much needed um, path and to put out this type of um, alleged information is very damaging. And she's like, I, I, I'm denying it 120%. It is not happening. So they, Kaylon left after that because it was like, what was the point of her? Okay, so Cedric came out, Marie's husband. They did like a little segment with like partners, um, husbands and stuff like that. Um, Cedric is not Therese's father. He did reveal that him and Marie, I think, have a daughter together. Um, Cedric is funny to me. He was like complimenting Egypt the whole time, being like, Egypt, but I love you. You do amazing work. Egypt would ask a question. He's like zigzagging all over the place, not answering it. Cedric is funny. I wish we got to see like that side of him, not the bad where he's like a horrible husband, goes away, he's a cheater, all of that. I wish we got to see the funny side of him. Um, But I didn't notice poor Marie. He was like stepping all over her dress like his he's not like walking on it but he's literally stepping on it like his foot is all over her dress i would have been pissed but whatever um so they eventually invite essie out and this was actually asked to essie and cedric first they the viewers were asking whether Cedric was gay. He said no. They then asked Essie whether she was like basically in love with Marie. Like there was a um, a relationship other than friendship happening between her and Marie, and she was like no. So people were gathering that you know some some things are not as it seems with the people close to Marie type of situation. Everyone denies it. Just friends. Essie and Marie are just friends. Cedric and Marie are married because he was like, I am not into men. I love women. You know, he's got a like an accent down. Um, and Cedric actually revealed that he's still in love with Marie. He's like, she's the love of my life. I love her so much. Marie did reveal, though, that she is dating someone. She didn't say whether it was the guy from the party but she revealed that she's dating someone and it's like a little bit hard because she's conflicted so I don't know what's gonna happen with them I guess if we have another season we'll see but she wears her rings she wears she just wears them like on her middle finger it looked like it looked like a, a an engagement ring and a wedding band but they're on her middle finger not her ring finger um so yeah, um, let's see, um, Latrice revealed that people are wanting to invest in Ferris Street. Um, she said like people from all around the world, not just people in Mississippi or in the USA, but people all around the world are wanting to get involved in Ferris Street. So I guess she's going to get her wish after all, which will will be great like I think they showed pictures of what Ferris Street used to be and it was popping it was happening so that would be great if you can like restore it um to its form of glory and do bigger and better things in the community you know 
Um, they talked a little bit about Glenn's affair again, and um, they made a good point. It's it's good to acknowledge that it happened, but it's also good to heal from it, and that seems to be where Latrice, or not Latrice, sorry, Leticia and Glenn are at. They have healed and they are moving forward despite the affair. And people should let them do that. If they want to move forward, they want to move forward, you know? Um, so they got into it a little bit again because Letitia is claiming that Latrice is a flip-flopper. She said that when Latrice is around Antoinette, she acts a certain way, and when it's just, you know, Latisse and Latricia, La Letitia and Latrice, she said that Latrice acts a different way. So she's basically saying, like, she's showing one face when she's with Antoinette, and she's though, she shows another face when she's with um, everyone else, and she's like, I want you to be real. I want you to be honest. She's like, you turn into a mean girl anytime Antoinette is around. And you did kind of see a little bit of that when they did a kind of a a clip. But, um, yeah. I've heard people say that you show different sides of yourself to different people. But that is completely different than turning into a different person when you're with certain people. And what I mean by that is you might show a certain side to your friends and then a certain side to your family, but to be like nice to one per and meet like, you know, that's completely different. So yeah, she tried to say that that's not who she is. I think in one clip, it literally Antoinette was literally like, we're being the mean girls right now because we're talking about people. And it was like, mm. no, that didn't age well. Okay, so it kind of ended on this note, which it seems strange. Okay, so <sighs> Letitia accused, excuse me, Antoinette of flirting with Glenn and Cliff. I mean, she dropped this bombshell like 10 minutes before the episode ended. And I'm just like, what? She basically said that she had gone out to the car. Glenn was in the office. In, yeah, the sip and see. This all happened at the sip and see party. She said Glenn was at the sip and see. And he said that Antoinette like handed him a bottle of Hennessy. But she, like, touched his hand in a way. And Letitia tried to say that Antoinette was saying, oh, go home and make a baby. And she's like, why are you saying that if you're touching my husband? And she's like, and you did the same thing to Cliff. And Latrice kind of backed it up. She was like, I did notice she was being a little bit flirty, but I brought. Cliff to the side, I brought her to the side, and they explained the situation, and it wasn't the way it was. So Antoinette ended up apologizing for the situation. She's like, I'm sorry if you took that as flirting, but it wasn't meant like that. Like, I didn't mean for it to come across like that. And I guess that was the end of it, because Egypt kind of tried to, like, cut it and then move to the last segment type of situation, but it was... It was so weird, like, um, Antoinette tried to say, like, everyone was drinking, so, you know, something, <coughs> excuse me, like, things weren't as they appeared type of situation, but it just seemed like an accusation out of left field. She's like, you were flirting with my husband, and Antoinette was like, I would never do that, that's not the type of person that I am, and Letitia was like, my husband wouldn't want you, or something like that, I don't know. It just, it seemed completely out of left field. So, um, and that kind of confirmed what Antoinette said, where she said she felt like she wasn't, she knew where she stood with everyone except for Letitia. 
And Letitia kind of confirmed, like, yeah, we're not good because you were flirting with my husband. And she was like, wait, what? That didn't happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it kind of, like, ended with them, um, like, addressing their hopes for the future and what what they hope, you know, in the next year, what the next year will bring type of situation. And they pop some champagne and that's the end. Of Bell Collective Season 1. What did you guys think of Bell Collective? Would you like to see another season? Are you sick of Bell Collective? It does not have a great rating. I think it was like 4.7 out of 10, maybe? Maybe? I'm not sure. Um... I like the show. I wish it was longer. Um, it didn't have a ton of like drama, which I appreciated. But um, I liked it. I I I like like the underlying part, you know, building back Ferris Street, talking about frozen embryos. I liked, you know. Latrice growing her hair empire. Marie talking about mental health. I liked um, Antoinette, you know, talking about dentistry and how she wants to give back. Like, I feel like besides the drama, it also had, it was also addressing important issues or or, um, discussing important topics. So that part was definitely good. And Latrice... Letitia definitely kept talking about protect the collective. Like she, she really believed that they were a group of a sisterhood. So she's like, protect the collective. We need to like move forward together type of situation. So yeah, that's the end of Bell Collective. I think I just said this statement. I'm so done. <gasps> it's 12.45 right now. Okay. That's the end of Bell Collective Season 1. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye.